1910 Detroit Electric. Square cylinders, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All been rebuilt. Machining. The common element of all the restorations, whether we're going to keep the car or sell the car, is I just love the idea of flawless restorations. So I love perfection. And so we work hard to make sure that the cars are just absolutely as close to perfect as we can get. All right, this car that I want to show you is a 1939 V16 Cadillac model 3990 convertible sedan. It's a phenomenal locomotive of a car. Look at this thing. Just look at the front grille. This car actually has louvers inside the grille to hide the radiator. Unbelievable. Let's have a look inside. This car has a 141 inch wheelbase. It's 185 horsepower, 16 cylinders, square cylinders, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And everything is the best. The body's made by Fleetwood, which at the time was owned by Cadillac. And everything about it with a division window is to create an opulent environment. Isn't it something? This is beautifully restored to a Concorde level. Let me show you the engine. Phenomenal. Look at this thing. It's basically two straight eights connected in a V arrangement almost to pose cylinders. And the only common element is really the crankshaft and the crank case. Two almost separate units driving the same crank case or crankshaft. You can see the attention to detail. This is the L-head engine. So this is the second series of V16 engines created by Cadillac in the 30s. They made very few of these. Out of the few thousand V16s that Cadillac made, they only made a few hundred of these. And as a convertible sedan, this is very rare. Now this body is an original Series 3975 convertible sedan body. And Fleetwood made those bodies for both the 90 and the 75 series, so it's exactly the same. But this, is, this car is a combination of a 3990 engine and sheet metal and a uh, 3975 convertible sedan body, all by Fleetwood. So it's identical to a 3990 convertible sedan of which only four were made. You can see the attention to detail that was given in the restoration. But what's really phenomenal is this engine. In fact, let me turn it on for you. These engines are incredibly smooth. every time. We've had this car for a few years, uh, about two and a half years, and uh, I've gone six months without running a car. It'll start up just like that. Phenomenal. Listen to this engine run. There's almost no vibration in the engine. Take it for a spin. This car is so smooth, you can't fill the engine through the car at all. You 
see how smooth it is. Three speeds forward and reverse. Standard transmission, all synchromeshed. Unbelievable. The power on this thing. For a car of this era, so we're in second gear. Look how smooth that is. You can just see it. Look how simple that is. I know my legs are open. Riding in a 1939 V16 convertible sedan. Got the top up because it's about 50 degrees out. Very simple Art Deco dash. See the wood graining on the windowsills? Gorgeous top. The liner. Massive amount of chrome in this car. You know, this was the height of the Art Deco era. It's probably the quietest convertible sedan I've ridden in. It would be a great touring car. It's got a lot of power. It's a convertible sedan so you can lope, run with the top up, top down. It's got a huge trunk. And of course, hydraulic brakes. Okay, one of the great benefits of driving this car is that I think this seat was designed for a chauffeur and the posture it makes your posture perfect. I think my straight, my back is about as straight as it can possibly be. This car has amazing acceleration. It's so smooth through all the gears, it's just unbelievable. Such a nicely restored car. What I love about this car in the collection is it's the biggest car, it's the most powerful car, it's got the most cylinders. I mean, listen to this V16 run. It's so smooth. You know, I've got it in first gear now. I can shift into second. It'll run at this speed in third gear. It's unbelievable. This is such a great car. Hey, let's see what it looks like with the top down. It's a little bit of a process to get it off. Boy, the weight of this thing. So, in only five minutes, granted a very long time, in five minutes, the top will come down. So does this car look presidential or what? This is amazing. It's just huge. Look at this, you got things to play with in the back seat. Clock, the Fleetwood emblem on it. Look at the woodwork. Just beautiful. Such a great car. Another cool thing about this car 
is that you can actually crawl under the frame and you can see your mirrored reflection in the frame. Everything in this car is restored just beautifully. What a driving experience. Love to drive this car. This car has been kept in a uh, heated garage ever since the restoration. Very rarely put out on the road. It's only got a few miles on it since restoration, but enough to make sure that it's well maintained and it runs beautifully all the time. When you drive this car, it makes you 